Most AI tools do not do a good job going from research to action. In this video, I'm going to see which AI product does the best with a complex multi-stage challenge. We'll find out which one actually moves you from passive intelligence to active development and strategic execution. I'll be comparing Gemini, Perplexity, OpenAI, and MGX, also known as MetaGPTX. MGX is sponsoring this video, and I want to find out if MGX lives up to the claim to be able to handle a full end-to-end -end workflow from complex survey all the way to application development. Before we run the actual comparison, let's talk about what makes MGX uniquely suited for this end-to-end -end challenge. Most popular platforms act like a single brilliant assistant. You give it a prompt, and it generates a response. A great summary, perhaps some code snippets, but that's usually where the process stops, requiring you to manually transition the work. MGX takes it a step further. It works as a team of specialized agents that collaborate to handle complex requests step by step. It doesn't just do research, it manages a complete workflow. Each role passes context seamlessly to the next. MGX claims to be like an integrated team capable of a single continuous workflow from concept to code. Okay, time to see who actually delivers a full life cycle. I'm gonna set up the same two-part complex challenge on all platforms, starting with Google Gemini. So I'm gonna click the deep research button because we're gonna compare deep research. And I'm gonna have two tasks. So task one, analyze the latest trends in AI-powered competitive intelligence, focusing on emerging opportunities for Q1 2026. And then we're gonna have an application Based on your research findings, generate a working interactive web page or dashboard that visualizes the top three competitive threats identified in the analysis. So let's just make sure we use the pro so we can get the best quality and we will submit that. Okay, so it's gonna give us its plan and we'll just start research. Okay, it finished and we have a solid, well-researched report. This is very comprehensive, so I do like that. As far as the interactive web page, I'll just kind of scroll down to the bottom here. And then we have basically the code here, and it's the HTML. Actually, CSS, HTML, and JavaScript are all in this one file here. Okay, this looks co good. I mean, kind of generic. And I would have to manually copy and paste the code, create the file structure, integrate the specific data points from the research report into the code. So basically, the two parts, the research and the coding, are delivered brilliantly, but they are separate tasks. So it's a handoff from the researcher to me, the developer. So I'd have to kind of finish this up. Now let's try perplexity. I'll just paste in the tasks, same as before, and I'll click this button to enable deep research, and let's see what it comes up with. So we have the report, looks pretty good, and then it says that there is a dashboard here. The dashboard is fully interactive. The working web application can be opened. Okay, where is the dashboard though? Okay, I guess it's this file here. Okay, I can click load more, it didn't even show me all of it at once. Okay, well I guess here's the website, so I could open this up into, I could open this up myself. And I think I'll do that, I'll just download the file. Okay, here it is. Um, okay, not too bad. It has some information, it doesn't have as much information as, as I was expecting. But, okay, I can open the file separately in my web browser. Okay, next we'll try OpenAI, ChatGPT, and I'll just paste in the tasks here, same as before, and I'm on ChatGPT5 thinking mode, so hopefully I'll put a little more thought into this. So let's just submit this and see what it comes up with. Um, the report is not that detailed, and we have the code first, so that's a little different. I am going to just preview this. 
Okay. Um, how does this work? Okay, I guess it's, it's kind of a little bit interactive, but that doesn't really really change anything. Okay, well, this is not this is kind of nice. Um, search threats. Okay, it's not too bad. It's just not that detailed, and it does not look like. Oh, I guess I can download. Weirdly, it just downloaded a JSX file. I would have expected an HTML file. Okay, now our final challenger, MGX. I'm just gonna paste in the same two questions here and we can choose the model. I'm just gonna go with advanced creation because that's what we're trying to do. And then I'm gonna turn on the deep research mode here. And now I can just submit that. Okay, we have Iris here. Uh, Iris the researcher springs into action and it's going to start creating a plan. And it says we can review the plan and let it know in chat if we want any updates. But, you know, I'm just going to say it looks good. Click all good. You can start your research. Okay, let's see how this turned out. So we can see we got this good document, a PDF author. Iris. <laughs> so this looks pretty comprehensive here. And I like how it's laid out here. So, and now we have these other steps here. Convert the report to an interactive website. If I click there, we can see now it's called an Alex. Alex the engineer is now taking the findings from Iris and launching the next phase which is coding the prototype. So with just one click, it's going on to stage two. And you can see up here, these are the different agents. We already use Iris, and now we're using Alex here. So it's kind of blinking or glowing right here. And we can see the working process step by step. Files being created, dependencies being installed, code being written in real time. This shows the depth and professionalism of this platform's end-to-end -end approach. Okay, and here's the final output. And we see I successfully created an interactive AI-powered competitive intelligence dashboard with the required sections. And it says all the sections. So let's actually, we can actually test it out here. AI-powered competitive intelligence. Okay, market growth, AI adoption. Top three threats and I like it. we have some charts here that's nice and this the the design is actually pretty cool we have these different tabs here and let's see if I zoom out here it is responsive so this website looks pretty good and has all the information I can also go to editor mode and now I can see all the code here and I can download this whole website so it's not just a block of code, it's a live hosted interactive website with all the data points from task one already visualized. The multi-agent collaboration actually delivers a complete single run workflow from abstract research to a concrete executable application. So after putting these platforms through the full research to application challenge, I can confidently say that Gemini, OpenAI, and Perplexity all delivered solid reports and good code. All of them can do the job if you are willing to manage the manual handoffs. But when it comes to the final step, the seamless end-to-end -end workflow from strategic research all the way to functional coded application, MGX's multi-agent approach really does deliver the unique value proposition. It took the initial research output and turned it into a full application using a specialized agent. So thanks for watching and use your code for good.